Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with another case of 2018 Topps Finest Baseball. This is Picker Team number four on the 6th, Wednesday the 6th. There's everybody right here. Thank you to everyone for getting in. EJ, Last Spot Mojo, Padres. Appreciate that. Thanks for grabbing that. And good luck to everybody. Fidel getting the Yankees straight up and Jason G getting the Angels straight up. So good luck to you two. Good luck to everybody, really. Good luck to everyone for getting in. Thank you for getting in. Good luck to everybody. Hopefully big hits for everybody. The uh, basketball game is over. The Cavs are down. The Cavs are down three nothing in the oh three in this series. Don't think they're gonna make it back. We were just chatting off camera, and I was saying, hey, maybe Got hands like Amari Cooper there. Um, we were saying that uh, LeBron will put on a show for Game Four, but I don't know if the Cavs are gonna win another one. I think they're going to get swept. Baseball. Baseball day is over. All the baseball games are mostly a wrap. I think there's just one game left. Yeah, Royals and Angels are left, and that's tied at one. In the bottom of the fifth in Los Angeles, EJ's Royals are are literally about an hour, and a half, hour away from me. Down in Orange County. Hopefully nobody followed my picks today for entertainment purposes because my baseball picks were terrible today. Yesterday, fantastic. Today, terrible. You win some, you lose some, folks. That's, that's, how, that's how it goes. Just like case breaks. Just like case breaks. All right, let's pop these guys open. 16 autographs, two per box. Sometimes we see a bonus. Yeah, I got them on the local Angels broadcast. EJ watching them on MLB Network. Um... If you are into uh, wagering pennies here and there, like we are, I think the, one of the next big things in, in sports betting, now that it's legal, uh, and the states will decide whether they want to do it or not, but now that it's legal, is in-game wagering, I think, will be a big thing. In-game wagering. So right now, one, one of the, uh, the offshore books that I use, they have... Who do they have here? They've got Ian Kennedy. Or no, Ian Kennedy and Otani. Sorry, Otani's out of the game already. So bottom of the fifth, the line is plus 330 for the Royals to win and minus 500 for the Angels to win. So have you been watching all night, EJ, Eric Jennings? What do you think? Is there value in that plus 330? Maybe a dollar? Get back $3.33? $3.30? Anthony Rizzo, 23 out of 25. Jaspi Orange right here. That goes to Brad and the Cubbies. Nice little Jaspi Orange parallel. You got Miguel Sano sitting red. And Sandy Alcantara. There's the other two right there. Sandy Alcantara for the Redbirds. The X line, the different autograph. Uh, MEGR, Chris saying, finest are just gorgeous cards. They are. Every year, they, they slightly update the design every year, but I think it looks great every time. All right, next stack, another autograph. Maybe another, we haven't seen a train whistle yet. So this is our, we're, Three cases in. I haven't seen a train whistle yet. 35 and 99, Elvis Andrews. For the Rangers, that'll be for EJ, Eric Jennings. There's Mike Trout. Looks like another orange, maybe an autograph. Orange auto. So behind Manny Machado, 20 out of 25, orange autograph. For the O's, Austin Hayes, that matches the, the color of the team perfectly. Jonah with the Orioles. Nice. Uh, 
What's up, Brett? Uh, no, no, no Ripken yet. We've seen some die cuts in these breaks, but we've not seen any autographs of him yet. All right. Now, the, see, this is what's fun about the in-game wagering. Now, the Royals, who are, at, who are here in L.A., or in Orange County, Anaheim, actually, um, now the money line for the Royals is plus 280. So slightly closer to, to even, to win the game from, from this point, from whatever this point, wherever we're at at this point. No train whistles, Brett. Have yet to, yet, yet to do a train whistle. Some nice hits, but no train whistles yet. Now, for those of you who don't like the money line, you can go run line as well. Royals are plus one and a half. Plus one and a half for the Royals is minus 120. And minus one and a half for the Angels is minus 110. And you could go over, under, over six and a half, minus 105. It's a little bit better. Odds and uh, minus six or under six and a half runs minus one twenty five. Rex here always going to give us the Cubs news. Not anyone see the Jason Hayward walk off grand slam a little while ago? Sorry, Rex. It's not always about your Cubs. We're we're watching Royals Angels marquee matchup right there. Royals Angels. But he hit a walk-off Grand Slam. He was only hitting 139 against lefties and hits a Grand Slam off one. What are the odds? Probably not very high. Royals back up to plus 310 on the money line. There's Travis Shaw. And see, we've been seeing a lot of these die cuts. There's Finest Careers, Cal Ripken Jr. Man, that 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 Jason Hayward contract was was a turned out to be pretty bad. I mean, has that has that paid off? I mean, you can't not play him, right? He's got good D. He's got a good glove. Good defense. All right, and then Bailamos, let the rhythm take you over, Bailamos. Andrew K with the Reds, with Raisel Iglesias. Huh? See, Iglesias, they're not related. There he is again. And that's an out of 50. That card is gold. 33 out of 50. Matt Olson, Cornerstones. That goes to Chi with the A's. I just haven't seen a numbered uh, parallel of that yet, Chi. There's Otani. We'll save those two for the Angels. All of those add up. And behind Machado again. Another Walker Bueller. We saw him in the case before. And now Bill Talon. You get a little Dodger Joe Mojo. Walker Bueller. Who's been who's been carrying the Dodgers pitching rotation on his on his young arm. His young shoulders. It's been a relief. With all the injuries the Dodgers starting rotation has had. Alright, next box. Oh, what's what's going on in the game? Eric Jennings. It's at plus 205 now. So closer to pick them, which means that they have better odds now to win the game? Slightly. Oh, back up to plus 225. That's what the, the in-game is all about, folks. In-game wagering. It's pretty fun.
Gilo Gabriel saying that he's been seeing a lot of a ton of Walker Bueller even with other breakers. There's other guys that do this. What? I, I didn't realize that. I thought we were the. Huh. Didn't think there were other guys that did this. Thought it was just us. God, we thought we were so smart. Guess there's other guys that are doing this, Andrew. <laughs> Thanks, MBGR. I mean, Chris is like, no, nah, it's all good. Just teasing. <laughs> there's some good ones out there. Some other good breakers out there. Hey, the more the more good breakers there are, I wish there were more good ones, but there, there are some good ones out there. The more good breakers there are, more that helps us, you know, more that helps everybody grow the pie. That's what I say. I don't need to take the entire pie as it is now. I would like the pie to grow, though. Then everybody wins. All right, we got Francisco Mejia to 150. That goes to the Indians. Nino with the Indians. Oh, Kennedy, Ian Kennedy, Eric Jennings says, got got out of the jam with two pop-outs. Well, that's good because now the odds are plus 165. There's Christian Arroyo. I think someone got the Giants late, right? That's Fidel. There you go, Fidel. I think he picked up the Giants kind of late. Gets a Christian Arroyo autograph, a little oppo Joe mojo here too. Aaron Judge Refractor, Otani, Nikki Delmonico out of 250. So the Delmonico goes to TJ, who has the White Sox. And then the Otani for Jason Gay and the Angels. I try, Jose. Jose is like, what makes the break good as you? Oh, thanks, man. Hey, listen. It's not rocket science. You know, anyone can sell sell breaks and open up packs of baseball cards, right? But then the difference is we like to have a little bit of fun with it too. Jack Flaherty for the X line. Cardinals. You know what, Jose? I like hearing myself talk, so <laughs> it works out. It works out. All right, there you go. The Jack, Jack Flaherty autograph goes to the X line and the Cardinals. Yeah, it's it's hard to. What was they saying? I got to an eBay break and didn't like how the person handled the uh, the cards. It's hard to find like an all uh, all encompassing thing. You know what I mean? Where it's like, yeah, okay, the breaker's good. The prices of the breaks are good, but you know, he, he, he kind of is all thumbs with the cards or they're they're shipped poorly. Or their shipping is really good, but the prices are too too high and their breaks are boring or whatever the case is. So I mean I think I think it's hard to find like a good balance between everything, you know. Do I ever watch my own videos and think, man, I'm good? No, I don't watch my own videos at all. I do not. No, my, my ego is not that big. I'm a pretty confident dude, but not, not that big. I'd almost be like, I'd be like Bryce Harper watching his own highlights, right? And being like, yeah, pretty good ball player. <laughs> he knows already. All right, there's Giancarlo Stanton, 43 out of 50. Gold for the Yankees, Fidel with the Bronx Bombers.
And behind Aaron Judge, cornerstones is Greg Allen for the Tribe. Nino with the Indians. Rex says Joe make things fun, especially the after hours hour. Come on, Rex. Family show. Can't tell everybody about that. There's no more Mazzara, 250. Kevin Pilar's next autograph behind Bryce Harper. Speaking of Bryce Harper, is Francisco Mejia for the Tribe. Nice one for Nino and the Indians. Francisco Mejia is supposed to be the uh, the guy, the the big catching prospect for the Tribe when they move on from like Jan Gomes, I think. Who do they have behind the plate? But he's supposed to be the guy. Um, look up Francisco Mejia, though, on the Google machine. He's got this weird, he's involved in this weird lawsuit uh, with this company that will give, they don't call them loans, but it's a sports, I don't know what they even call it. It's like a, but they give underprivileged athletes money, right? So, so a lot, a lot of guys in the Dominican Republic, a lot, of, a lot, a lot of guys in, in you know, Latin American countries, and a lot of guys here in the United States too, you know, will give them money. It's like a futures loan, I think. Yeah, yeah. And then they get a percentage of any future contract that they that they have. You know, so they'll loan the money. So for like nutrition and like a new glove, like you know, just stuff like that, stuff like. You know, that, that they may not, you know, so they identify like potentially great major league, possible major league players and giving them some sort of futures loan for a cut of a small percentage of their future contract at some point. Um, and so Francisco Mejia got involved in something like that. Which is kind of interesting to see how that lawsuit will pan out because I think he stands to make a lot of money because he's like top three prospect in the Indians organization, probably a top 25, 50 guy in all of baseball. So he stands to make like a, a lot of money. So I think he wants to restructure the way that deal is done because I think he signed like three separate deals for a few different loans or something. And I don't know. It's a, it's a weird situation. But that's what he's involved in. I think he got the money for like his sick mom or something like the hospital bills and fees and stuff like that. Sort of a weird industry, I think. George Springer at two fifty. I, I I don't know any of anything about this this company's business model, but it's hard not to think that there's some sort of exploitation happening. You know. Yeah, and I think they definitely take advantage of the foreign players, as Eric Jennings is saying, because they can be signed at 16, and I I don't know what kind of legal representation they get before they sign these contracts. Behind Freddie Freeman is a 63 out of 99, Travis Shaw. That'll go to Scott V and the Brew Crew. So it's sort of a weird situation. Something to keep an eye on. There's George Springer for the Strohs. Bill Talon with that. Clint Frazier, Anthony Rizzo to 99. Goes to Brad. And behind Justin Boer is... Su Wei Lin. Uh, we just learned in the previous break, because we looked this guy up. This goes to the Red Sox. That's for Eric Jennings. Uh, Zunami is what they call him in Taiwan, apparently. All right, there you go. Going back to what Jose was saying, 
Oh, the the breaker that you were seeing was slamming the cards down, and yeah, we try. I, I try to be as careful as possible. Hey, uh, EA, uh, EA, Eric, and she got got a pristine ten on that Hunter Green out of five. Something that I pulled. So I feel like I'm pretty careful with the cards. Sometimes I got Amari Cooper hands, but most of the time I'm all right. Uh, Andrew K with a little additional basketball news saying Donovan Mitchell was just interviewed on ESPN. He said, oh man, I can't wait to get traded to Houston after LeBron signs there. Joke. Of all the years of breaking, what's the one pull that I remember more than any other? Not necessarily the biggest pull, but the one most exciting for me and the customer. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> Um, I always like it when, I think whenever, whenever someone gets all negative about a break and they're like, ah, oh, and there's like four or five boxes left and they're like, oh, I'm not going to hit wall, you know, and it got crying face going on. And then like the biggest hit of the break for them comes down to the last box. I like moments like that because then they're happy. I'm happy. I get to say I told you so and play to the whistle and all that jazz. I can do that. I like those. I like those moments. Um, I don't know. I think I, I. I think I do like those moments. I, those, I like the moments when people are having a kind of a cold week or something like that. But I like when they're rewarded for their persistence. Those moments I, I tend to remember a lot. So like if 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 some dude, uh, you know, if some dude buys one team. You know, and then goes, ah, oh, you know, like, finance is just not for me, I guess, you know, or whatever. I'm just like, uh, you only join one break. It's like a $10 team. Like, what do you, you know, like, I kind of think that in my head. But if they if they continue trying, you know, and then they get rewarded with a big hit, I think that's super cool, too. I like, I, I really like moments like that when it, when that kind of narrative or that kind of storyline works out. There's Chris Sale to 150. And there's Manny Machado. I was not expecting that. Cornerstones on card autograph for Jonah Kobayashi with the O's. Where does he end up? They got they're gonna trade him, right? They gotta trade him. They gotta get something back from him. So is there going to be a bonus hit? TJ thinks so. so. That's a nice insert auto. And that's on card too. Yeah. And a Travis Shaw. <laughs> Eric Jennings like, that's a lie. That never happens. Oh, no one ever complains here. Yeah, that's no, one, no one complains here. Machado to the Dodgers? I don't think we have the, well, maybe in the off season. I don't think we have the pieces to trade for him though. We got a gold Byron Buxton, 39 out of 50. That goes to EJ and the Twinkies. Out of 250, McCutcheon and a die cut of Cal Ripken Jr. Nice. Uh, TJ says Dodgers. I don't see him at the trading deadline. I don't see him going to the Dodgers. Uh, in the offseason, I could see him going to the Dodgers. Once the Dodgers are out, out from underneath that luxury tax threshold. You think they want Verdugo? He's he's a. I think. See, I don't, how much is he getting paid this season? Because the luxury tax is a big thing for the Dodgers. Whoever they add, in the, even in the middle of the season, even if it's prorated, I'm pretty sure it gets added to whatever luxury tax total there is. So. Ooh, a redemption. So, all right. You are due to receive a finest hour autograph. That's the one per case of R. R Randy? No. Raphael? Raphael Devers? 
Finest Hour autograph, Rafael Devers, for the Red Sox. That goes to EA, no, not EA, EJ with it. EJ, Eric Jennings with the Red Sox. EJ's Nito stat of the week. Red Sox, you are welcome, EJ. Where's EA? Missing out on all this finest. There you go. Well, I think the, I think the Dodgers would. I think the Dodgers would go for some guy trying to go for four hundred million dollars. I think they could resign him. They could sign him to a free agent deal. They'll have the money for it. Corey Seager's got that elbow issue. Maybe you move Corey Seager to second, keep Machado at short, just Turner at third. But it's gonna it's gonna take more than Verdugo for the O's, that's for sure. I I, I gotta think that they're gonna ask for Bueller, which the Dodgers will say no to. But it's gonna be it's gonna be more than just it's gonna be it's gonna be a big it's gotta be a pretty big package. Although the Orioles kinda screwed themselves. Um Orioles should have traded him last season. They would have gotten the most, the big money out of there. The Dodgers try to get Darvish back? No, I, I think you cut. Rex, your Cubs are good with Darvish, right? You got a nice long contract with Darvish. That's good. You guys are fine. Bueller won't be part of it. I mean, it's the Orioles that'll ask for eight AAA guys. I'll give him anybody, or not anybody, I'll take that back, but, I mean, who would I do? I'm trying to think of the Dodgers, or, I mean, there are probably a number of guys I'm forgetting, but Bueller would be a, a, an untouchable. I think, I mean, I would offer, I would offer Jaron Kendall, I would offer one of the catchers, you know, either Kybert Ruiz or Will Smith, we'll, I'll throw in Verdugo, maybe Dennis Santana. You know, Gavin Lux, throw, you know, throwing that middle infielder for them too. Jose Altuve to 150. But I don't know, Dodgers traditionally aren't the kind of guys that would move a lot of those prospects though. It'll be, if they do, it'll be interesting. I think they would rather just sit back. Nice Brian Anderson, 48 out of 99. Nice parallel for the Marlins. I think the Dodgers would be content to just sit back and then just pay for him in free agency. I don't know if I could get an extension in place. This is this is all contingent upon the Dodgers needing a Machado to get to the playoffs, basically. And I'm not sure if the Dodgers are quite at that position yet. But but I think the Dodgers would be one of the few teams who could even even afford Machado anyway. So I don't think they have to force an extension thing clause in there. Who else is going to pay $350 million for Manny Machado? $400 million. Only a couple, only a couple teams will be able to do that. One of them is in the Dodgers. And Lucas Sims, rookie auto for Mike Bobby at the Bravos. All right, two more autographs to go. Good luck, everybody. Have not seen a train whistle yet. Like an out of five and under for a train with. I've not seen one of those yet, but maybe we'll see it in the next box. Maybe the next. Ah, right. Jose saying it's not not if the Dodge, if the Dodgers makes the playoffs. It's when we make the playoffs. I see. Well, it's still have a long ways to go. I don't know. We'll see, but I I feel like the Orioles have to move. They gotta they gotta move Manny Machado. I know they don't like trading guys like that, but they gotta move move Jonathan Scope too. You know, like just 
just rebuild. You know, stock up, stock up that farm system, and and push on because that, that's what's got to happen. Andrew K saying Draymond just interviewed on ESPN. He said me and some of the guys are heading over to LeBron's crib for a small cookout. Uh, Le LeBron is LeBron is not going is not going to the Warriors. That's definitely not going to happen. I don't think the Warriors can afford it. They're gonna they'll use they'll lose KD then. I don't think I don't think the money works out there. LeBron's not taking a pay cut. All right, there's Otani, nice refractor for the Angels. Jason G with that. All those Otani's, Jason, add up to help cover that cost of admission. Maybe an autograph. We haven't seen that yet. That'd be a big way to finish off this break. We've got. Yuli Guriel, 4 out of 99 for the Strohs. That'll be for Bill Talon and the Astros. Oh, it was a joke. I see. I don't know. With LeBron, anything anything can happen. Anything is possible. Miguel Andujar, Reese Hoskins, and behind Buster Posey is his teammate, Christian Arroyo. Wait, is he still on the team? Who went to the Rays for the Longo deal? Christian Arroyo, 95 out of 150 for the Giants. That goes to Fidel. There's a different parallel of Otani right there. And out of 250, red turn two, Justin Turner. Justin Turner base card back there too. Actually, the Dodgers season really turned around with Justin Turner being healthy, Bill. Bill Talon with that one. Yeah, ex-teammate, right? So it, did he go? All right. It's a nice Otani. Oh, so he's the, yeah, Rex is like, I think he went to the, all right, there you go. So former teammate, Christian Arroyo. All right, and at the very end, behind Cody Bellinger is Garrett Cooper for the Yankees. Fidel with the Bronx Bombers. So there you go. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Great break. Some good talk. Jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got one more case. I think we can do one more tonight. All right, we've got plenty more, but I think we can do one more case tonight. So go to jazbeeshobbyland.com, buy your teams, and let's make it happen. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you for the next break. Bye-bye.